Oh, not just another day. Today is probably uh, going to, to resolve tons, tons and tons and tons of comments of what you folks have brought up. And let me tell you what, it doesn't involve from up there to here, it's down below. Let's check this out. A lot of you have been concerned about the weight. Will, will the, the axle carry it, um, carry the load? Currently, I, I think I'm around, I need to get it weighed again, around 1,800 pounds. That's a 2,200 pound axle. So 400 pounds, right? Um, that would hold 400 pounds of luggage and pots and pans and whatever. But it's right at the borderline, isn't it? Everybody knows that. So guess what? Behind you is the answer to the world's problems of weight. Let's go check it out. Ah. That's right. I'm going to add a second axle. Mm-hmm. So these, these axles are just held on with U-bolts. There's two on each side. So I'll be removing those. I'm going to slide this axle ahead, put that one on behind. That's the newer one, so it's probably stronger. So it'll support the back. I think that's going to real that's going to more than handle the weight now. And the frame is good. That's good for that. So I guess we ought to get to it. I'm going to back the trailer up onto the concrete so I can use a creeper to get around under there. That's first order of business. They're all hooked up. Locked in, loaded. I'll go move all this blocking. Look at that. All froze together. <laughs> One side, with the other side. I need to put Kaya inside while I move that back there. Hey puppy, come on. It's gonna be so much better to back it up on that concrete and roll around with a creeper. The stairs are sticking out beyond, so I don't wanna Stab the door. That's good. The entire frame is on the concrete, so we're ready to go. So I, I took a measurement. <clears throat> right, right, right here is where the end of the frame is, and then there's another spot back there. I'm going to cut one of the standards to fit right here. And that will be at 23 inches tall. One side, one side or another. Hey, now I have more blocking. Perfect. Enough. <laughs> Let's go put it on. Right there. The, uh, this is pretty well balancing. <laughs> Let's do, let's do the front first. The hitch is almost six or eight inches off the ground. Okay, right there. Okay. 
All right, we'll let that down. I'm going to move the jack back a little bit. Same, 23 inches. Get another one. I'm going to do the other three all at once, and then so that I, then I'll get that part done. See what that does. Well, it's jacked up. Not unlike me. <laughs> okay, so Kaya and I, it's the next day, and I sprayed PB Blaster on on these see if I can get you a good view of that yeah those are rusted solid so what do you do when that happens so when they're when they're all rusted like that I went and bought a, uh, a hi Kaya a nut splitter that's gonna be fun it's supposed to be work pretty good let's go see if it does I gotta go break it out of the box. So also, with an axle, of course, you need a couple of tires. So I got that and the nut splitter. I'm gonna take these inside and mount them on the axle first. Woohoo! It is cold out there. Well, it looks like like, I could be in here doing, let's do a deadlift. Oh, oh, oh. I am not going over my head with that. 90 pounds. So I'm going to just put it up like this. Deplasticize that. You going to help me, Kaya? Ooh, shiny. Will it fit? Well, if you put the... There we go. Just like that. And here we go with a tire. Wow, that went on easy. Okay, I will tighten these after I've installed the axle on the trailer uh, where I can get a little bit more pressure on it. So I'm not planning on reusing the old U-bolts. So I got those uh, four for the new trailer, new axle and four for the old axle as well as lock nuts for those. Oh, 
what, how could you ask for anything more fun than this? It's 20 degrees Fahrenheit outside. It's a little bit cool, but I don't want to wear gloves. Uh, so the, the, the nut to be cracked is over here. Let's take a look. I want to get you guys a good bird's eye. Where, where are you? Put my finger on it. Okay. Well, let's see. I have never done this before. This is like from the movie The Nutcracker, right? Let's see. Where do I want to position that? I, I really don't know what to expect. <coughs> I don't know how much tension, how much pressure this is going to take. I hope it's just a... <coughs> For those of you that have done this all your life, you probably know. What do you need, a breaker bar, you think? It seems like it's going a little bit hard. Oh. 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 I don't know if it's going to pop off or what. A breaker bar would be nice. Time out. Let's find a breaker bar. So I took this all apart. I had to pull this screw out. There's a, a little uh, indentation down through here to hold. I guess that little screw is supposed to stop it from turning. I can't believe that. Uh... So anyway, this nut or bolt got apparently jammed into, well, let me take this out. This, right now it's loose, but when I, after I had tightened it, it jammed it in there and it was locked so that this was just spinning. I'm gonna try it one more time. If that doesn't work, I'll, I'll use a grinder, move on to the next thing. That's kind of disappointing. Okay. It would help if it was a little bit lighter in here, out here, wherever I am. <laughs> oh, yeah, that that is stupid. Okay, grinder it is. I can't even get it started on there. <laughs> my head's upside down. All the red blood's rushing into my hair. My head. I do have some hair up there, but. Okay, not my favorite thing to do, but let's grind. I don't know if I can get in that back one without. I don't know. Let's grind and see. Oh, my head. <laughs> okay, there's one. And I cut into that a little bit. I think that's fine. This is the one, I don't want to hurt the tire. So let's see what happens. So my plan is to take this one off. I'll put a new one on there because I want to keep it up, keep the whole axle up so I don't have to lift it again. And I'll cut that one and then uh, same thing. And then do the other side and then hopefully I can just slide the axle ahead. Let's see. So I'm going to try this. Kind of stings on the face a little bit, eh? Let's see if I can get in a different position. Okay. There, I finally ground that off and that off enough so that this is free. So I'll put the new one over. Oh, it fits? What? 
So I'll snug that up just enough so that it can slide. Come on, come on. Then I'll cut, <clears throat> I'll cut the other off and it should be all set. So that's all for now. I'll, I'll do those and then we'll be back and look at it again. <laughs> oh, I'm having so much fun. I thought I'd just share this last one with you. I've got a uh, two, four, six bolts, six nuts cut off. Uh, the nut splitter did not work. So I have just these two. I thought I'd just share it with you as I cut them. Last ones. My neck's getting a little bit <coughs> sore. All right. I don't know if you heard that little pop when the nut comes off, but that every it's done it on every one. Oh, it shakes me up a little bit. Okay, one more. Oh, um. Almost through. <laughs> My arm's getting tired. Oh, what if? There. <laughs> Who the laddie? Who the lolly? Who the blah blah? It's pretty warm. There we go. Done. That part. <laughs> Let's put this on. So all the other ones went, they almost fell in. It's always that last one, right? There we go. I am so out of shape. I'm like uh, my arms, my hands, my fingers. saying we need to go take a break in a minute. I'm just going to snug this up. Then we can, we're, I'm going to move, well, I'm going to move this trailer, this axle back. I was going to move it forward, but I'm going to put it on the back. Okay, done with the grinder. Whew, that was invaluable. Well, this has gone, actually gone pretty well so far. <laughs> steady, steady by jerks or something like that. And I did get the axle going the right direction so that the uh, it twists up on the back side just like the other one. 
So now I just have to get it in there. I'll probably get a car jack in there to hold it up in place, I think. Wow, it's almost there. Okay. I have no idea how much fun this is going to be. Let's see. I'm sure I'm, I'm sure I'm making this harder than it needs to be. Pretty sure. Just get in there and do it, right? Just getting the jack up here on the concrete. There we go. A lot of grunting and groaning. All right, there. So it should roll. The axle should roll on top of the jack, okay. And click and click and click and click. Looks like I'm closer over there for putting the brackets in, so I think I'll do that side first. Once I get that secured from rolling and pulled up, I should be able to crank, because now it's just gonna wanna turn if I crank it up with the jack. Let's try that. <sighs> I don't really wanna whine, but my neck muscles make Making me feel like I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Oh, that is perfect. Perfect, per per perfect. I think I'm ready. It's almost lunchtime. Uh, I think I'll get this done before lunch, but I'm ready for like a grilled cheese tomato soup lunch to warm up. Eh? Okay. Okay, I guess I'll. That side wants to roll around, so I, I'll tighten this up first. We better get a tape measure. Night uh, 18. 18. So I'll, I'll check that side after I snug these up. Very good. Okay. I'll check that measurement, and uh, if that's good, I'll finish bolting this down, and then we'll see how it looks from there. Well, it's been uh, over a three-day period that I've done this. There we go. Um, I probably maybe got six, six hours into it. Kunk. Get this up here. <laughs> so six hours to change the axle. Uh, I did center the the center of the building for weight purposes is almost directly over that front axle. So it's got good weight on the back. I'm going to lower it down. Uh, one other thing. Let's look at this.
Do you remember the day when if somebody said they were going to do something, they would do it? I, I'm not sure what it is. People, some, they, they say, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll do this, do this, do this, and then they don't show up, they don't contact. I've texted this guy, I don't have his phone number, texted him six or eight times because he was supposed to be here uh, yesterday, didn't show up. So I'm going to put it back on the market. And uh, so I've got to move this out of here so I can hook onto the Vardo. I want to test drive it. So let's get going. Okay, I think, I think that's free. Yep. I don't know if this will lower down enough or not. Let's see. First tire has made contact. I don't, know if this, I don't know if this will lower enough so that the back standards will come out or not. I guess I'll do one side at a time. There's one. I see the jack up in the air. Okay, what do we got? So, <clears throat> I guess that's not good. Um, could you imagine me uh, doing that? No. So, apparently, well, let's look over here. This one is a heavier duty axle than this one. So, um, so uh, apparently I get to pull both those axles off and reverse them. <laughs> uh, I'm not on this video, of course, but so that will address everything because that's, that's going to put the pressure down on the front and it's also going to give it plenty of uh, strength for carrying a load. Uh, I was hoping to go weigh this and get it checked out but I can't even hook onto it right now so a little disappointment but I think we're still it, sh it should change much easier now now that I've got all those rusted bolts loosened up so I may, uh, may get uh, somebody to help me loosen those up and change them around. Maybe someone with an impact hammer. I don't have one of those. It was forever just ratcheting those bolts. Anyway, thanks for watching. I think it's going to be a great, huge improvement to the Vardo. I feel much better about it. All right, see you later. Thanks. Leave a comment, hit the like button, subscribe if you're not a subscriber, share it, watch it again. Have a great day.